Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you well. I wanted to add on to my recent post about income streams. As you know, money is not a subject that we talk about in school. Since we're in quarantine, I'm able to teach my niece and my nephew about finances and teaching them about the assets and liabilities and what they are and how to use credit cards, debit cards, creating bank accounts. And then it occurred to me that our nation right now we have 17 million Americans that have filed for unemployment. And that's just maybe not even counting the people that already were on unemployment. That means 13% of Americans are struggling to put food on the table. So that must mean there's not enough money knowledge going around. I put together these five things that the average American should know about money. Number one, the importance of money, okay? It's important. Don't let no one tell you it's not important. It's important. It brings you options. It allows you to decide where you choose to live, where you choose to send your kids to school. It allows you to help more people. The more money you have, the more people you can help. Two, knowing the difference between an asset and a liability. Mind you, these are things that I learned in college, but not everyone went to college. An asset brings money in. Liabilities take money out. For an example, an asset would be a rental property. A rental property brings money in. And if you own a house, you gotta pay the payment, takes money out. Assets are really important to build, not only because it detaches putting in time for income, but because it you know, allows you to generate some cash flow whether you're there or you're not there. So you're basically making money while you're sleeping. Number three, okay, I don't know if I just put a two back there, but number three, developing productive habits. According to entrepreneur.com, these are the three habits that millionaires are like amazing at. So I wanna share them with you. Number one is always adding value. More value you bring, the more money you bring in. Prioritizing sleep. With all this chaos and distraction going on, prioritizing sleep. Go to sleep early, and then you wake up early. Then you can tackle your next day. Next one, exercise. Your body needs to feel good in order for your day to be great. So making sure that you set aside some time, do some exercise, whether it's just like 15 minutes to 30 minutes, do it. They added, just as a bonus, because I think it's very important, is daily goal setting. This is your to-do list for the day. I would recommend writing five things, five goals that you have for your day every morning and writing it down and sticking to it. If you don't stick to it, you don't tell your hours of your day where to go, your day is gonna decide where those hours go. And then you end up forgetting what you needed to do that day. So it's very crucial to stick to that to-do list and making sure that you accomplish what you need to do that day. Back to the list. Number four is giving up the scarcity mindset or what Grant Cardone, which is like the money man, he's still my favorite, and he calls it the poverty mindset. Most people think that there's a limited amount of money out there. There's not enough for everyone, you know? So that is what they talk about, the poverty mindset. Wealthy people tend to think that there is an abundance of money. So this is called the abundance mindset. I wanted to share this story because I know somebody who has the abundant mindset and they're not from the US and they came here to the land of opportunity, seeing dollars everywhere. You know, they, they seen it like right there. And so they're just charging at it. While people that are from here that are, you know, they have it so well here, they just don't know. They don't know what they have their hands on. These people that, that do come from the other countries, they do work so hard because they see it. They've seen what they have here compared to what they have in other countries. Hope you guys are still with me. We are at number five, the rich, understand that they don't know everything. It's impossible to know everything. So what they do is they surround themselves with people that know more than they do or know other subjects that they don't know. And they seek experts, they seek mentors, they seek coaches, um, different ways to build their skills and build their relationships. Mentorship has helped me personally and it's helped me expand my mindset more than it was before because it wasn't always like this. So where I grew up from, we never talked about money. We really didn't. We I didn't know anything about a credit card. I didn't know how to even open up a bank account. I didn't talk about this, these financial things with my mom or my dad. My mom always told us, you know, go to school, get a job. Once you finish school, you get a better paying job, but you will always be employed is what they suck in my mind. By no means am I saying that they were wrong. Obviously you go to college and that opens up some opportunities for you to, to get a better paying job than someone who didn't go to college sometimes. It's not always the case all the time. Obviously, you do need college. You want to be a doctor, you want to be a nurse. You have to have some type of education because we want those people to be educated. And so then bringing it back. So I think that it's very important. Like this whole list is important, but this is very important because it makes it a lot easier to know where you're going if someone is there to guide you and, um, and to get what you want. So anyways, 
if this interests you, you want like some type of mentorship, some type of guidance into maybe creating another income stream, DM me, let me know if it interests you and I may have some options for you. On the other hand, I want you to let me know if you liked this video and if you think others can benefit from it. I enjoyed making it and I will leave it at that. Till next time, stay happy and stay healthy everyone. See you later.